Explore the Earth's most visited majestic mountains. Are you ready to embark on an exhilarating journey to the world's most breathtaking and awe-inspiring peaks? From towering giants to serene paradises, we're counting down the top 10 most visited majestic mountains on our planet. But before we begin our countdown, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our thrilling adventures. Now, grab your hiking boots, and dive into a world of wonder and amazement. Destination 10 Mount Fuji, Japan. Our journey begins in the land of the rising sun, Japan. Mount Fuji is an iconic and revered stratovolcano on Honshu Island in Japan. It is the highest peak in the country, standing at an elevation of 3,776.24 meters, 12,389 feet. Mount Fuji holds immense cultural significance and has been integral to Japanese art, literature, and religion for centuries. Here are some critical points about Mount Fuji. Mount Fuji is often regarded as a symbol of Japan and is deeply ingrained in the country's cultural and spiritual identity. It has inspired numerous artists, poets, and writers throughout history. Mount Fuji was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, recognizing its cultural and geological importance in 2013. Climbers can reach the peak of Mount Fuji, and it's a popular activity during the summer months when the weather is relatively mild. The climbing season typically runs from early July to mid-September. There are several routes to the summit, each varying in difficulty. Mount Fuji is significant in Shinto and Buddhist beliefs. It is often considered sacred and has been a pilgrimage site for centuries. The summit houses shrines and temples, including the Sengen Shrine. The base of Mount Fuji is surrounded by five scenic lakes. Lake Kawaguchi, Lake Yamanaka, Lake Sai, Lake Motosu, and Lake Shoji. These lakes offer beautiful views of the mountain and are popular tourist destinations. Mount Fuji is classified as an active stratovolcano, although it hasn't erupted since 1707 during the Edo period. Despite its dormancy, it's still considered a potential threat due to its history of periodic eruptions. Fuji's cone-shaped beauty results from centuries of volcanic activity, and its perfectly symmetrical shape has inspired artists and travelers alike. The best views are often enjoyed from vantage points around the Five Lakes region or viewpoints on nearby mountains. The Fujisan World Cultural Heritage Center is located at the mountain's base, providing visitors with information about Mount Fuji's cultural and natural significance. It's a great starting point for those interested in learning more about the mountain before climbing. Destination 9 Mount Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. Heading to Africa, we encounter the majestic Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest peak in Africa and one of the most iconic mountains in the world. It is located in northeastern Tanzania, near the border with Kenya. Here are some critical points about Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro stands at an impressive elevation of 5,895 meters, 19,341 feet, above sea level. It is a freestanding, dormant stratovolcano that rises dramatically from the surrounding plains. Kilimanjaro is a popular destination for trekkers and climbers from around the world. It is renowned for being a walkable, high mountain, meaning that technical mountaineering skills are not required to reach the summit. However, climbers still need to be prepared for altitude-related challenges. There are several established routes to the summit of Kilimanjaro, each varying in difficulty, length, and scenery. The most popular routes include the Marangu route, Machame route, Lamasho route, and Rongai route. Each trail offers a unique experience and takes climbers through diverse landscapes. Climbing Kilimanjaro exposes climbers to various ecological zones, including tropical rainforest, heath and moorland, alpine desert, and glaciers. This diversity of ecosystems is a unique aspect of the Kilimanjaro trek. The highest point on Mount Kilimanjaro is Uhuru Peak, located on the Kibo Crater Rim. The Uhuru Peak is the ultimate destination for most climbers. The views from the summit are breathtaking, offering a panoramic vista that extends over the African plains. The mountain's altitude results in various temperatures and weather conditions. As climbers ascend, they pass through different temperature zones, 
from a warm base to freezing temperatures near the summit. Proper clothing and gear are crucial to withstand the changing conditions. Mount Kilimanjaro and its surrounding areas are protected within Kilimanjaro National Park. Efforts are made to maintain the delicate ecosystem and ensure sustainable tourism. Visitors are encouraged to adhere to leave no trace principles and respect the environment. Due to the altitude, climbers are at risk of altitude sickness. Adequate acclimatization and gradual ascent are essential to minimize these risks. Climbers are advised to take their time, stay hydrated, and listen to their bodies. Kilimanjaro is situated in an area with diverse ethnic groups and cultures, including the Chaga people. Some routes pass through villages, allowing climbers to interact with locals and experience their way of life. Climbing Mount Kilimanjaro requires preparation, physical fitness, and determination. Planning the climb with a reputable tour operator and seeking advice from experienced climbers before attempting the ascent is advisable. Always prioritize safety and follow the guidance of your guides. Destination 8 Mount Rainier, USA Venturing to the United States, we find Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier is an iconic stratovolcano located in the state of Washington, USA. It is part of the Cascade Range and is the highest mountain in the state. Here are some critical points about Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier's summit elevation is 4,392 meters, 14,411 feet, above sea level, making it the highest peak in Washington and one of the most prominent mountains in the contiguous United States. The mountain and its surrounding area are protected within Mount Rainier National Park, established in 1899. The park covers over 370 square miles and offers diverse ecosystems, including old-growth forests, alpine meadows, and glaciers. Mount Rainier is known for its extensive glacier system, which covers about 35 square miles of the mountain. It has the most extensive single-peak glacial system in the contiguous United States, providing awe-inspiring ice formations. Mount Rainier is a popular destination for mountaineers and climbers. While it's a non-technical climb, it still requires proper preparation and equipment due to the hazards associated with glaciers, crevasses, and changing weather conditions. Mount Rainier is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world due to its potential for catastrophic lahars, volcanic mudflows, that could affect the densely populated areas around it, including the city of Tacoma. The volcano's potential to generate lahars is a significant concern for local communities and emergency planners. The national park is home to various plant and animal species adapted to the diverse habitats found on the mountain. Wildlife includes marmots, mountain goats, black bears, and elk. The climb up Mount Rainier takes climbers through various ecological zones, including dense forests, subalpine meadows, and alpine tundra. These zones are home to distinct plant and animal communities. The Paradise Area on Mount Rainier's south side is one of the most visited spots in the park. It offers stunning views, wildflower-filled meadows in the summer, and a visitor center that provides information about the mountain and its ecology. Besides mountaineering, Mount Rainier National Park offers numerous recreational activities such as hiking, camping, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and wildlife viewing. Mount Rainier is an active stratovolcano that last erupted in the mid-19th century. It has a history of explosive and non-explosive eruptions, shaping the landscape and influencing the surrounding ecosystem. Suppose you plan to visit or climb Mount Rainier. In that case, it's essential to be well prepared, informed about the current conditions, and follow safety guidelines set by the National Park and experienced climbers. Destination 7 Matterhorn, Switzerland, Italy. Crossing over to Europe, we arrive at the breathtaking Matterhorn. The Matterhorn is an iconic mountain located on the border between Switzerland and Italy in the Alps. It is one of the world's most famous and recognizable mountains, known for its distinctive pyramidal shape and challenging climbing routes. Here are some key points about the Matterhorn. The Matterhorn straddles the border between Switzerland and Italy. Its summit is about 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles, southwest of Zermatt, Switzerland, and about 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles, northeast of Broye, Slovenia, Italy. 
The Matterhorn Summit stands at an elevation of 4,478 meters, 14,692 feet, above sea level. The first successful ascent of the Matterhorn was accomplished in 1865 by a team led by British mountaineer Edward Wymper. The climb gained notoriety due to a tragic accident during the descent that resulted in the deaths of four climbers. The Matterhorn is known for its challenging climbing routes and is considered one of the most difficult mountains to climb in the Alps. The most popular route, known as the Hornley route, involves a combination of rock climbing and ice climbing. The Matterhorn holds cultural significance and has become a symbol of the Alps and mountaineering. Its distinctive shape has made it an inspiration for artists, photographers, and writers. The Matterhorn's unique shape is said to have inspired the design of the Toblerone chocolate bar, which features a triangular peak reminiscent of the mountain. The town of Zermatt, located at the base of the Matterhorn on the Swiss side, is a popular destination for tourists and climbers. It offers a range of activities, accommodations, and access to the mountain. The summit of the Matterhorn provides breathtaking panoramic views of the surrounding Alps, including other prominent peaks like the Monte Rosa Massif. Climbing the Matterhorn requires experience, technical skills, and proper equipment. Guided climbs are recommended for those who are not experienced mountaineers. The mountain's challenging conditions and unpredictable weather make safety a priority. On the Italian side of the Matterhorn, Broi Servinia serves as a base for climbers and visitors interested in exploring the mountain and the surrounding region. The Matterhorn's combination of natural beauty, mountaineering history, and challenging climbs makes it an alluring destination for adventurers and mountaineers from around the world. However, due to its difficulty, it's crucial to approach climbing the Matterhorn with caution, preparedness, and respect for the mountain's challenges. Destination 6 Mount Blanc France, Italy. Staying in Europe, we're greeted by the spectacular Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc, also known as Monte Bianco in Italian, is the highest mountain in the Alps and Western Europe. It is situated on the border between France and Italy. It is known for its stunning beauty, challenging climbs, and popularity among mountaineers and tourists. Here are some key points about Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc straddles the border between France and Italy. The mountain summit is located entirely in France, while its southern slopes extend into Italy. It is part of the Mont Blanc Massif, which includes numerous other peaks and glaciers. The summit of Mont Blanc reaches a height of 4,808.7 meters feet, above sea level, making it the highest mountain in the Alps and Western Europe. Mont Blanc is a popular destination for mountaineers and climbers. The most common route to the summit is the Gouda route, which starts from the French side. However, climbing Mont Blanc requires proper preparation, physical fitness, and mountaineering skills, as the weather and conditions can be challenging. A tunnel called the Mont Blanc Tunnel passes beneath the mountain, connecting the French town of Chamonix with the Italian town of Cormayer. The tunnel provides a convenient transportation route between the two countries. The Mont Blanc Massif is a complex of mountains, glaciers, and valleys that surround Mont Blanc. It offers a variety of climbing and outdoor activities, including trekking, skiing, and mountaineering. The French town of Chamonix, situated at the base of Mont Blanc, is a renowned destination for outdoor enthusiasts. It offers various activities, including skiing, mountaineering, hiking, and paragliding. Chamonix is often referred to as the capital of mountaineering. A cable car called the Aiguille du Midi takes visitors from Chamonix to a high-altitude viewpoint on the Aiguille du Midi peak, providing breathtaking views of Mont Blanc and the surrounding peaks. The Mont Blanc Massif is home to a diverse range of alpine flora and fauna, including ibex, chamois, marmots, and various plant species adapted to the harsh mountain environment. The Mont Blanc Marathon is an annual trail running event that attracts participants from around the world. It offers different race distances that traverse the stunning landscapes around Mont Blanc. Due to its popularity, Mont Blanc faces challenges related to environmental impact and over-tourism. Efforts are being made to promote responsible tourism and protect the fragile alpine ecosystem. Suppose you're considering climbing Mont Blanc or exploring the surrounding area. 
In that case, it's important to be well prepared, informed about the current conditions, and follow safety guidelines. Guided climbs are recommended for those who have extensive mountaineering experience. Always prioritize safety, respect the environment, and adhere to the regulations set by local authorities and mountaineering organizations. Destination 5 Mount Everest, Nepal, China. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. The legendary Mount Everest. Mount Everest, also known as Sagarmatha in Nepal and Chomolunga in Tibet, is the highest mountain in the world. It straddles the border between Nepal and the Tibet Autonomous Region of China. Here are some key points about Mount Everest. Mount Everest summit reaches 8,848.86 meters, 29,031.7 feet, above sea level, making it the highest point on Earth. The summit is in the Himalayas, the world's highest mountain range. The mountain's highest point is on the border between Nepal and China, Tibet. Nepal controls the mountain's southern side, while the northern side falls under the Chinese administration. The first successful ascent of Mount Everest was achieved by Sir Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay, a Sherpa of Nepal, on May 29, 1953. Their historic accomplishment is celebrated globally. There are two primary climbing routes to the summit of Mount Everest, the South Colonel route from Nepal and the North Ridge route from China, Tibet. Both routes present significant technical and logistical challenges due to high altitudes, extreme weather, and crevasses. Sherpas are an ethnic group native to the Himalayas, known for their mountain climbing skills and expertise. They are crucial in assisting climbers with logistics, carrying equipment, and guiding expeditions on Everest. Everest's south and north sides have base camps where climbers acclimatize, rest, and prepare for their summit attempts. The South Base Camp in Nepal is a popular trekking destination accessible to non-climbers. The Kumbu Icefall is a treacherous and dangerous section of the route on the Nepalese side. It is a constantly changing area of crevasses and ice towers, requiring climbers to navigate carefully. Mount Everest faces ecological challenges such as litter, waste, and overcrowding. Efforts are being made to reduce climbers' environmental impact and promote responsible mountaineering practices. Climbing Mount Everest is highly challenging and carries inherent risks. Tragic incidents, including avalanches, falls, and altitude-related illnesses, have occurred on the mountain, highlighting the importance of preparation and safety. Mount Everest has witnessed numerous record-setting achievements, including the oldest and youngest climbers to reach the summit as well as notable ascents without supplemental oxygen. Climbing Mount Everest is an undertaking that requires significant training, physical fitness, proper equipment, and expert guidance. Aspiring climbers should choose experienced guides and follow the established protocols for safety and responsible mountaineering. The mountain's extreme conditions and high altitude demand careful planning and preparation. Destination 4K2, Pakistan, China. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Our fourth destination is K2. The K2, also known as Mount Godwin Austin, is the second highest mountain in the world and one of the most challenging peaks to climb. It is located on the border between Pakistan and China within the Karakoram range of the Himalayas. Here are some key points about K2. K2's summit reaches a height of 8,611 meters, 28,251 feet, above sea level, making it the second highest peak on Earth after Mount Everest. K2 straddles the border between Pakistan and China, with its main summit within Pakistan's territory. The mountain is part of the Karakoram Range, known for its rugged and unforgiving terrain. K2 is renowned for its technical difficulty, challenging weather conditions, and steep ascents. It has a reputation as one of the deadliest mountains to climb due to its unpredictable weather and dangerous features. K2 was first successfully summited on July 31, 1954, by an Italian expedition led by Ardito De Zio. The team included climbers Leno Lacedelli and Ashley Compagnoni. The most common route to the summit is the Abruzzi Spur on the Pakistani side. There are also other routes, such as the North Ridge from the Chinese side, but all routes present significant challenges. K2 is often called, the Savage Mountain, 
due to its difficulty and danger to climbers. Its steep slopes, extreme weather, and avalanches contribute to its challenging reputation. The approach to K2 often involves trekking along the Baltoro Glacier, one of the largest glaciers outside the polar regions. This glacier is also a gateway to other notable peaks in the area. The Karakoram Range, including K2, faces environmental challenges such as glacial retreat and waste accumulation from climbers. Efforts are being made to address these issues and promote responsible mountaineering practices. K2 has experienced numerous climbing accidents and fatalities throughout its history. Unpredictable weather and challenging terrain have contributed to the mountain's reputation as a dangerous climb. The K2 continues to attract mountaineers and adventure enthusiasts seeking to conquer one of the world's most significant challenges. Despite the risks, the allure of standing on the summit of K2 draws climbers from around the world. Climbing K2 requires extensive mountaineering experience, technical skills, and careful planning. As with any high-altitude climb, safety should be a top priority. Climbers must be prepared for extreme conditions and be well acquainted with the potential risks associated with the mountain. Destination 3 Jungfrau, Switzerland. Switzerland calls us once again, this time to the enchanting Jungfrau. The Jungfrau is a prominent mountain in the Bernese Alps of Switzerland. It's known for its stunning beauty, accessibility, and the scenic railway that leads to the Jungfraujik, the top of Europe. Here are some key points about the Jungfrau. It has an elevation of 4,158 meters, 13,642 feet, above sea level, making it one of the highest peaks in the Bernese Alps. The Jungfraujik is a saddle between the Monk and Jungfrau peaks in the Bernese Alps. It is accessed by the Jungfrau Railway, known for being Europe's highest railway station. The Jungfraujik offers stunning panoramic views of the surrounding mountains and glaciers. The Jungfrau Railway is a marvel of engineering. It offers visitors a unique opportunity to experience high-altitude alpine landscapes without needing mountaineering skills. The railway journey includes tunnels and stops at various stations, including Eigerwind and Eismere. The Jungfrau is part of a trio of famous peaks, the Eiger, the Monk, and the Jungfrau. These three mountains are often referred to together due to their proximity and distinctive shapes. The north face of the Eiger, the neighboring peak, is famous for being one of the world's most challenging and dangerous climbing routes. The Eigerwind station on the Jungfrau Railway provides views of this impressive face. In addition to the railway journey to the Jungfraujik, visitors to the region can enjoy hiking, skiing, and snowboarding in the surrounding areas. The town of Grindelwald, situated at the base of the Eiger, Monk, and Jungfrau peaks, is a popular starting point for outdoor activities. The Jungfrau Aletsch Bischhorn region, including the Jungfrau Peak, is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its outstanding natural beauty and unique glacial landscapes. The Jungfrau offers panoramic views of the surrounding Bernese Alps, including famous peaks like the Finsteroarhorn and the Aleschhorn. On a clear day, visitors can see as far as the Mont Blanc Massif in France. The weather conditions in the Alps can be unpredictable, and the higher altitudes are subject to rapidly changing weather. Visitors planning to travel to the Jungfrau should be prepared for varying conditions and dress accordingly. The Jungfrau region is a popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from around the world drawn to its natural beauty, alpine activities, and the unique experience of the Jungfrau Railway. Whether you're interested in breathtaking views, outdoor activities, or the engineering marvel of the Jungfrau Railway, the Jungfrau region offers a memorable experience for travelers seeking to explore the beauty of the Swiss Alps. Destination 2 Mount Teta, Spain. Off to Spain's Canary Islands, we encounter the remarkable Mount Teta. Mount Teta is a prominent stratovolcano on the island of Tenerife in the Canary Islands, part of Spain. It is Spain's highest point and volcano in the Atlantic Ocean, here are some critical points about Mount Teta. Mount Teta's summit reaches 3,718 meters, 12,198 feet, above sea level, making it the highest peak in Spain and the entire Atlantic region. It is a stratovolcano, which means it is characterized by its steep slopes and layers of different types of volcanic material. 
It is part of the Taita National Park, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2007. The Canary Islands are an archipelago located off the northwest coast of Africa, belonging to Spain. Tenerife is the largest of the Canary Islands, and Mount Taita is situated in the central part of the island. The Taita cable car provides visitors access to the summit area, allowing them to enjoy panoramic views of the island and the surrounding ocean. The cable car station is located at an altitude of around 3,555 meters, 11,660 feet. The landscape around Mount Taita is characterized by its volcanic formations, including lava fields, calderas, and the impressive Las Cañadas caldera, which encircles the mountain. Despite the volcanic nature of the region, Mount Taita and its surroundings are home to a diverse range of plant and animal species that have adapted to the challenging conditions. This area is known for its unique flora, including various endemic plants. Mount Taita offers a range of hiking trails catering to different skill levels. Climbing to the summit requires a special permit and is typically undertaken by experienced hikers. The hike takes visitors through a changing landscape, from lush forests to volcanic terrain. While Mount Taita is considered dormant, the area has had historic volcanic activity. The last major eruption occurred in 1909. The high altitude and clear skies around Mount Taita make it an ideal location for astronomical observations. The Taita Observatory, located near the summit, hosts various telescopes and research facilities. Mount Taita holds cultural significance for Tenerife and the Canary Islands. It features local legends and folklore, and its distinct presence has influenced the island's identity. Visiting Mount Taita offers a chance to explore a unique volcanic landscape, experience stunning views, and engage in various outdoor activities. However, it's important to be aware of the altitude and the changing weather conditions, especially if you plan to hike or take the cable car to the summit. Destination 1 Table Mountain, South Africa The most visited highest mountain title is Table Mountain in South Africa. Table Mountain is an iconic flat-topped mountain in Cape Town, South Africa. It is one of the most recognizable landmarks in the country and a popular tourist destination. Here are some key points about Table Mountain. Table Mountain is a flat-topped mountain formed from layers of sandstone and quartzite. The distinctive flat plateau results from millions of years of erosion and geological processes. The mountain is located in the city of Cape Town on the southwestern tip of South Africa, near the Cape of Good Hope. Table Mountain is approximately 1,085 meters, 3,560 feet, above sea level. The Table Mountain Aerial Cableway provides visitors with a convenient way to reach the summit. The Cableway offers panoramic views of Cape Town and the coastline during the ascent. Several hiking trails lead to the summit of Table Mountain. Popular routes include Platyclip Gorge, India Vinster, and Skeleton Gorge. Hiking offers a rewarding way to experience the mountain's natural beauty and unique flora. Table Mountain is home to a diverse range of plant species, many of which are endemic to the region. The mountain's flora is part of the Cape Floral Kingdom, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its rich biodiversity. The mountain is inhabited by a variety of wildlife, including dassies, rock hyraxes, lizards, and various bird species. The Finbos vegetation is a crucial element of the mountain's biodiversity. Table Mountain National Park. The mountain, along with its surrounding areas and coastal landscapes, is protected within Table Mountain National Park. This park is renowned for its natural beauty and popular destination for hiking, picnicking, and outdoor activities. The summit of Table Mountain offers spectacular panoramic views of Cape Town, Table Bay, Robben Island, and the surrounding coastline. It's a popular spot for photography and sightseeing. The weather on Table Mountain can be unpredictable, with conditions changing rapidly. Being prepared for sudden temperature drops and potentially strong winds is advisable. Table Mountain is a natural wonder symbol of Cape Town in South Africa. It offers a variety of experiences, from cable car rides and hiking to stunning vistas and a chance to appreciate the unique flora and fauna of the region. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking for breathtaking views, Table Mountain offers something for every visitor. Conclusion
From Mount Fuji's tranquil landscapes to Everest's towering challenges, each peak carries its history, attraction, and significance, drawing adventurers and explorers to test their limits and immerse themselves in the marvels of nature. So, whether you're chasing summits or simply seeking the thrill of discovery, these mountains offer a treasure trove of experiences that will forever enchant you. Get ready to conquer heights, make memories, and witness the majesty of our planet's peaks. Adventure awaits, it's time to scale new heights. Thank you.